سلام به یکی دیگه از درس های آموزش آنلاین زبان فارسی در وبسایت LELB Society خوش آمدید در این درس من قصد دارم نحوه نوشتن و همچنین خواندن دو حرف دیگر از الفای فارسی حرف ب و حرف پ رو به شما آموزش بدم So in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to read and write Uh, two other letters of Persian alphabet B and P with the help of my own created digital board okay so تفاوت زیادی ندارن حرف B و حرف P از نظر نوشتن هم اونطور که ببینید تنها تفاوتشون اینه که در حرف B یک نقطه وجود داره در پایین حرف و در حرف P سه نقطه The only difference between these two letters is that in B sound or B letter there is just one dot uh, below the letter while in P there are three dots that's the only difference okay but they appear in two uh, major forms I'm going to show you how Okay, B. Let me write it down. This is B. This is called B aval. Okay, and as I told you, P aval is written this way. Okay, so B aval and P aval. Uh, remember, in order to uh, write down the three dots more easily, you can easily just connect the dots this way, okay, or even this way. So, these are the same, remember, these are all the same, but in order to just, because uh, just writing down three dots is not that easy. easy but you can just connect the dots either in this way or in this way okay it's up to you so b aval and p aval i'm sorry no not this one p aval or connecting the dots all right Uh, so let me just give you some examples چند تا مثال به شما میزم میدم که در واقع بتونید ب اول و پ اول رو بتونید راحت مطالعه بکنید مثلا اینجا من چندین مثال رو آوردم که از سایت ما میتونید ببینید با 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 you see uh, با با or daddy مثال بعد برف برف yeah. maybe they should be written longer or larger yes برف برف means snow snow بازی 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 گیم or play باران با ران باران rain بهار Bahar. Okay, sometimes he is written this way too. Let me just. Yes. Bahar. Uh, Bahar means spring, the season of spring. Boland. Boland means high. 
with great altitude. Poland, Seville, Mustache. You know, it's very difficult to write with this <laughs> uh, tool digitally. I do my best. Uh, Seville, mustache. You know, scene has uh, three dents, and uh, that's why it's very difficult to just write them down with this digital pen. Uh, Seville and Khabar is news. Khabar. Okay, this is the first B or first form of B which is at which is attached to the uh, let's say letters coming after or before it. Uh, so خبر کاربرد حرف ب آخر what about the, the other form of ب I told you news means um, sorry خبر means news uh, okay let me just erase the data here and use a new fresh board okay uh, this type of ب is larger and let's say longer that's why we call it be akhar or last be shab again say and share with her which is difficult to write down yeah shab remember in order to write down three dots i just connect the dots in this way okay so this is shab shin plus b shab and tab uh, b should be written longer tab again in order to instead of writing two dots horizontally i just draw a line okay so this means that tab okay fever tab means fever خوب. next word is خوب. خوب. خ واو ب خ واو ب خوب means good Okay, next word is ab. We learned how to write i bakala in the previous lesson. Uh, if you have not watched that video, you can just easily find it at lelp.net or uh, in our YouTube channel. Ab. i bakala. B. Okay, uh, this is called ab means water. Tube. 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 Again, Ch sound has uh, three dots like this, and I connect the dots here this way. So, tube. It's easier when you uh, write with a pen or pencil. Okay, by the way, believe it or not, <laughs> writing with a pencil or a pen is a lot easier than using this digital tool. Tube means wood, W double O D. And a very good example is kebab, which is, uh, uh, let's say, originally an, an Iranian dish or food, kebab. You know, uh, kebab exists in English too, but I think the etymology of this word goes back to Persian language. So, kebab. The first be here is be aval, the first. 
the initial bay as you uh, uh, as you may call it the initial bay and the last and the second base is the let's say last bay or final bay okay which is detached it's a very good example so this bay is bay aval and this bay is bay akhar which is longer than this one you know and larger also and kebab means kebab okay let me write it down one more time perhaps i didn't write it down well enough better okay so what about how half a pair or the leather pair again actually as I told you we have the same scenario pair initial pair and final pair okay uh, for example pedar which is actually initial pair pair Again, I told you, in order to connect the dots, you just draw a semicircle. Most of the time, it's up to you. You can also write it this way. Pedar. Okay, pe dal re. These are the names of the letters, and it's highly recommended you 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 learn the actual names of the letters apart from their sounds they make so this is called pe dal re but pe de re are the sounds of these letters pedar means father so baba means daddy pedar means father which is more formal pesar Pesar means son, S O N. Okay, Pesar. Uh, pe sin re, pe sin re, or Pesar. Okay, you can also write it this way, as you know. Pesar. Parvas, next word, initial P, initial P. Parvas. Well, I think I'm learning how to just use this tool more effectively, little by little. Parvas means flight or flying, flying. Parvas. Pere vav alef ze. Pere vav alef ze. Puzesh. Puzesh. Pe vav ze shin. Pe vav ze shin. Puzesh means apology. Okay, puzesh khastan means apologize. Puzesh. Pe vav ze shin. Peer. Pe ye re. Pe ye re. Peer means old peer let me just clear all the data here or drawings so peer pays so pays p alif ye ye z means the, the autumn uh, I'm sorry the season of autumn or fall Pais. so again ye in fact the original uh, form has been something like this you know ye has two dots horizontally and again actually I just connect the dots for ease of writing 
So let me write it one more time. You see, Pais. And uh, Pambe. Pan be, pan be, pe nun be he, pe nun be he. Pan be means cotton, c o t t o n, cotton. Pan be. And sepid. Se sin pe. Sepid. Sin pe ye de or dal. Sin pe ye dal. Sepid. Osh pas. Aibakala. Shin pe ze. Osh pas. Aibakala shin pe ze. Osh pas means cook. Or chef, Saroshpas. Oshpas. That's why we have Oshpas Hane means kitchen. Oshpas. Uh, and this is for initial pair, and which is very similar to initial pair, uh, with this difference that it has two more dots. What about their final pair? which is not that common in Farsi. I have selected three words here as tube. Or I can connect the dots here this way. No, tube means ball. Tube, te vav pe. As you can see here, Pe is detached from the uh, from the or vav te vav pe and he, uh, chap in this example it is actually detached chap che pe che this is che and this is pe chap means uh, the direction left, left side, okay, chap. Here, a pe is attached to che, and it is always attached. But, you know, whenever you want to use a, a letter after double, after vav, after this letter, uh, it is always detached from vav, okay, this is vav, and any letter that you want to write after Bob, it is detached from it. Okay. Chap. And gap, the last word. Gap. Gap. Gof. P. Gap means chat, chatting. Okay, short talk. So, shoot the breeze. So, a gov and pe. Here, again, like chap and gap, pe is attached to the previous letter. Uh, okay, we come to the end of this lesson. I really hope you enjoyed that. And make sure if you want to learn Farsi or Persian, uh, all the four skills about this, uh, language, practicing, speaking, listening, reading, writing, LLB Society is actually the best platform for you to practice it. And all of our classes and activities actually are online because you don't need to attend a face-to-face -face or traditional class to learn any language or sometimes I can boldly say almost anything. Parakhal umidwaram ki az dars لذت برده باشید و براتون مفید بوده باشه اگر دوست دارید فارسی رو زبان فارسی رو به شکل حرفه‌ای و خوب و 
در واقع در کنار لذت بردن از پروسه یاد بگیرید میتونید به وبسایت ما سر بزنید به آدرس lelb.net مراقب خودتون باشید و تا درس بعد خدا نگهدار take care of yourself and till the next session and listen take care and bye bye